Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. I am back with another video. In this video, I am going to talk about that creating the GCP VM instance with the SSH key generation using Terraform. What is the Google Compute Engine? The Google Compute Engine is a virtual machine service that allows to user to create and run the VM on the Google infrastructure. The Google Compute Engine provides the various types of instance types. The first one is that general purpose compute optimizations, memory optimizations. So depends upon that your application need, we can choose either of the optimization types of the instance. There are four ways to creating the VM. The first one is that VM instance from the scratch. It is a very simpler approach, just you can use the default settings. Next one is that new VM instance from the template. You can create the new instance from the existing template itself. Next one is that new image instance from the custom machine image. You can customize that machine image that has stored that configuration metadata on the data disk required to create that VM instance. Next one is that new VM instance from the marketplace. You can deploy the instance from the marketplace where you can choose the image with the application. If you want, you can run this the instance itself. So in this video, we are going to create the new instance from the scratch method only. So moving to the Visual Studio code. We are at the Visual Studio code. The entire code is available on my repository. You can clone from any time. We can see the Terraform file one by one. The first one is that main.tf file. So the first one is the data source. So Google Compute in Engine. So this resource mainly used to select that uh, OS for the GCP VM. In my case, I define as the Ubuntu. If you want, you can check with the different operating system with the help of uh, gcloud compute image list. So using this command, you can list out that, that um, list of image available on the GCP. Based on your uh, project requirement, you can choose that image. Next one is the local variables. In my case, I am assigning that name of the expression called re region and availability zones. So in my case, I using with the US central one and uh, US central one I find here. The next resource is that TLS private underscore key. So this resource generating that new key pair with uh, containing that private and public key itself. Next resource is that Google Compute Engine. This resource is responsible for creating and managing the instance on the Google Compute. You can see here the project is I am defining with my project ID from the variable itself I am getting. Next one is the naming. Naming I define it from the variable. The machine types I choose with the E2 iPhone micro. So it is the demo purpose. I can choose with the less capacity of the instance. If you are producing your applications based on your application need, you can choose the image types. Next one is the zone. The zone value I am getting from the local dot region hyphen A. I am assigning the tag of that instance is a demo. The booting underscore disk auto underscore deletion equal to true basically the disk should be that auto deleted and now my instant is terminated next one is that insulation underscore params so here i am choosing with the image the image is came from my data source next one is the labeling i am assigning the labeling to my image next one is that network interface here i am choosing with my default vpc next one is the metadata assigning the username called umundu and uh, whatever the key I generated earlier, those keys I defined here. Ne next one is the metadata startup script. Basically, during the instant provision, I'm installing the couple of package. First one is that APK update, updating the OS, and I installing that Postgres client commands and so on. So, next one, the next resource is a firewall. I'm allowing the inbounding and unbounding. So, in my case, I'm open with the 22 port number, uh, and uh, you can see that the and uh, the source range I define is the global 0.0.0 slash 0 and our target I defining with my compute engine. Next one is the local underscore file resource. So whatever the key gen I can create, you know, those things are storing into my, my parent locations. Uh, this one is a private, next one is a public, both are storing that my key pair into my root directory. Next resource is the output. This time showing that uh, public IP address of my VM. 
and the next one is that uh, instant SSS key so here I'm showing as my absolute path where my key is to located so next file is the variable.tf file so whatever the value I call from the main.tf file those information I defining here name ID and the project ID and the regions in the provider.tf file here I am using my service account. In this particular service account I am calling with credentials. So it be it containing the necessary privilege to I can able to create that VM. So we are moving to the terminal and executing the Terraform operations. I am moving to the terminal. I am going to click the three dot terminal and I choose the new terminal. Just I executing the Terraform init command. So downloading the necessity package. Then again going to execute the Terraform plan command to validate the syntax and the calling method. Is it fine? Now the file resource going to add. There is a no zero changes, no zero destroyed. You can see a thing. There is a plus more is indicating as the new resource going to add. Uh, just I'm going to executing the Terraform apply command. So it asking the user input is yes. So I provide that. So now that VM is creating. So I am pausing this video. And I can continue on uh, once uh, finishing this Terraform operation. Yeah, my Terraform operation successfully completed. You can see a thing, the instant uh, public IP address. Also that absolute path for my, my key is where is located. So you can see here there is a SSH key directory I created under that uh, there is a private and a public key located here. So then I am moving to that uh, GCP console. So I am choosing with uh, my appropriate project then I can click the navigation menu, compute engine and I go with the VM instance. Yeah, you can see here the cloud root 7 demo instance is created just I click that instance uh, here the basic information is listed here so whatever the value I defined those things is reflected yeah that's it uh, I hope uh, this video will be useful to everyone thanks for watching bye